Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we'll speak about Docker. It's a, a way you can create containers for your software. So when you execute something, it will be inside the container and based on the, the core system. If you install it on Windows, like this video will, will help you to do, and then you can swift between the, the Windows and the Linux core of Docker. And I installed it on a Windows 2019 and normally you will not install the desktop version on your server but in my case I need to test it on my Windows test server so in my case it makes sense. So first you want to do it's going for docker.com and when you hit this page you can go for, for products and going for Docker Hub. And you can go for the Docker Hub here. And then just open a new tab and you can search for Docker Desktop. And you have the, the containers here. So Swift to the Docker CE, the Community Edition. And select the Docker for Windows. If you're running for a Mac, you can select Docker Desktop for Mac. And you have the Linux down here. But we will go in for Windows here and you can say get Docker. I already have downloaded Docker here, it's 800 megabytes, so it could take a little while before you have it down. Uh, it depends on your internet. So now we're going for install the Docker desktop installer and waiting for opening it. And this will download the package before it can install on your windows. When it's uh, done to uh, install you have this one so you can click use Windows container instead of uh, Linux containers. It can always be changed after the install. I will show how you can do it. So let's just say add to the desktop and wait until it's done. So close and log out. When you are re-logged into your server or your desktop again you should have the, the Docker desktop icon here and you can see the Docker icon downs below here. It's, uh, it's, it's running and we can go into the task uh, settings here. Uh, and then we can go down to the icons we want to appear and we want to say the dog icon should always be uh, be showing so that's what we want and the network should be the uh, volume should be height so that's how we're doing and on, when the docker is restarted then, and then you will see the login here so I will just log in with my username and password and then we are good to go I'm logged in as my own user and I will uh, hide my camera a little bit and then you can see down here in the down left we have docker and then we have settings when we open settings you can see we have different uh, different cases here we have general share drive you can see what drive we want to share inside the docker as a volume then we have advanced how many process we want to use and default I want to use let's say 8 and memory I have a lot of memory so let's giving not 200 gigabytes let's say 48 and we have a swap and we have 2 gigabyte of swap that's fine and the image size should be let's say 212 gigabyte and then we can press apply when you do this the docker desktop is restarting and it's taking a little while and I'll show you why it's because we have a hyper-v inside here docker desktop vm it's uh, shutting down and then we're resizing it I will configuration here and modify it and let's see memory 48 and now starting up again and we have networking summary 
And if we're going inside here, then you can see the process. We have eight and we have 48 gigabyte of memory. So now the Docker is restarting. So let's confirm everything as, uh, as it should be. So starting up the PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, and run it as administrator and say Docker. And then you have everything about the Docker. So now you're ready to continue with Docker. And of course, my Docker is still restarting and now it's back online. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe my channel. I'll try to do what I can to answer all the questions down below in the comments field. So please make a comment and hit this video as a like. And of course, share with your friends and remember to subscribe. Thank you so much and hope to, to see you next time. Bye bye.